Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to get that music off of your iPod and get it onto your Windows 8.1 computer or laptop. Okay, to start with, go ahead and plug your iPod into your USB port and if you're on the Windows 8.1 start screen, uh, you'll see the auto run here and uh, you click on that and select the second one here, open up the file explorer and then you'll be able to see the folders in your iPod and if you don't see the auto run let's go ahead and close this out um, there's multiple ways to um, open up file explorer you can go down here and right click on this menu and click on file explorer and you'll be able to s see your iPod right down there and then uh, you can also do it from the start screen as well right click move up and click on file explorer and uh, that opens it back up and uh, let's exit out here and one last time if you have your file explorer pinned to your taskbar you can click there and it opens it up and any, any which way you do it you can click on your iPod there you go and you'll be able to see your files within your iPod now right now you see four folders but the folder that we're going to be working with is called the iPod underscore control However, it's presently not seen and we need to unhide it by clicking on the view here. It brings up this menu ribbon. We go over to the right, click on options, and then we go ahead and click on change folders and search options. And that brings up the folder options window. And then click on the view tab. And then under advanced settings, we want to go ahead and go down and click on show hidden files, folders, and drives. We want to put check mark there. And then we'll go down and click on apply. And then we'll click on OK. Now once that's done, we can see the iPod underscore uh, control folder. We're going to go ahead and double click on that. And then that'll bring the um, these folders up and we'll be able to see music. Double click on music and we see multiple folders here F00 through whatever depending on how many uh, songs you have on your uh, iPod this could be many we're going to work with F00 on this demo uh, video demo here so I'm going to double click on that and that's going to open up the folder for us here uh, there we go and uh, as you can see I have four songs in here and I'm going to copy these four songs over to my computer let's go back one level here and now I'm going to click on F00, right click, go down and click on copy. That copies that folder into my computer's memory so I can paste it onto my computer for my iPod. And if I have multiple checks, I can do multiple folders and copy them all at, one, uh, all at the same time. All right, let's close this out. And uh, let's go ahead and open up iTunes. And once you have iTunes open, we want to go up here and click on Edit. Now, if you don't see this menu bar here, it's because it's hidden. And the way we unhide it is click on that drop-down arrow. And we say Hide Menu Bar or Show Menu Bar. And that's the way you'll be able to see it or hide it. Okay, once you do see it, um, let's go ahead and click on Edit. And once you click on Edit, we'll go down and click on Preferences. And now bring up the um, settings or preference window and we want to click on advanced tab here and that'll open up the um, information that we're looking for which is the location of the iTunes media folder now by default mine's located here yours sh might be similar to this because if you haven't changed it it should look like this and your um, iTunes media folder should be located here. If it's not, make note of it. All right, also um, put a check mark here if this isn't checked because uh, it lets iTunes organize the music. And uh, a check mark here lets uh, iTunes consolidate the music um, on your computer as well. All right, let's go ahead and click on OK. OK, now we want to go ahead and minimize iTunes. And go ahead down to the lower left hand corner or the file explorer here on the taskbar once you have file explorer open we want to go under this PC and then we want to go to the iTunes media folders which is music iTunes and then iTunes media folder 
and within the iTunes media folder we want to right click and paste that F00 that we had copied into our computer memory. Now before we close out we want to right click on F00 here go down to properties and we want to unhide that folder that we just pasted into our computer there and then we'll click OK and click OK that way iTunes can see that folder that we just pasted into the iTunes media folder. Let's close that out and uh, let's go ahead and open up iTunes again and um, we're going to want to go up here under edit and we want to go to preferences again and once again go to advance and just make note again where your iTunes media folder is located because that's important uh, for the next step. Alright let me cancel this and then we want to go up to file and we want to go and say add folder to library check music and then click on iTunes and then click on iTunes media folder and F00 and then we want to go over to the right down here and say select folder and that brings the music right into iTunes and as you see the four songs that I had uh, on my iPod from F00 is now in iTunes. Now over here if you click on songs you can of course see the different uh, categories albums or um, um, songs so uh, whichever you want to see or the artist rather. So I'm going to put back the songs here and uh, that's the way you go about um, moving your music and your songs over from your iPod to um, your iTunes or on your computer or your laptop. Okay, um, that's it for this video. Subscribe and like my video.